Okay, well, welcome back um, to the uh, first course in Applied Mathematics. Um, we started off presenting a framework uh, where we saw graphs and we studied them using matrices and what we learned from linear algebra. Then we took a little detour to a specific application, electric circuits. I'm going to take another detour now um, and ask you to think about something completely different because Applied Mathematics is a vast subject. Uh, take a look at this. Do you recognize that? Well, if you're a student in London, you will. It is, of course, the uh, famous map of the London Tube Network, the underground system. And you can see there's, I don't know how many stations. Oh, by the way, it's not just the, the, the tube, it's connected to various train lines here um, and other kind of smaller networks that are all interconnected. Well, now that you've taken this course, of course, every time you look at that map or a similar map somewhere in some city, um, you should be thinking of a graph. It is a graph. It's nodes with edges. Okay, the nodes in this case are stations and the edges here are train lines or subway lines. Um, I'd like you to uh, imagine the following thing. So it's a kind of fictional uh, idea, but it's uh, something that happens in uh, physics and applied mathematics all, all the time. Suppose that you're a tourist in London and you are wanted to go on an adventure in London. So you get on the tube at a station, you get on a, you get on, you go to a tube station and there may be multiple lines leaving that station. And what you do is this, you pick a line to get on, a train to get on at random, completely at random. So if there's uh, four train lines leaving that station, there's a one in four chance you'll pick any one of them. Okay, then you get on the on that line and you travel to the next station. You then get off the train and you do the same thing again. You look at how many lines leave that station, including, by the way, the one uh, that you just got off. And with equal probability for each line, you decide which to get on next at random. OK, so there's a good chance you've just got off a train and with some probability, depending on how many other lines there are, you'll get back on and go back the other way. And here's the here's uh, the kind of thing that you can think about. You can ask yourself the question, suppose I start at a particular station. What's the probability on this kind of random journey that I'll reach a specific station before another one that I name? OK. Let me just show you a little picture. Let's just let's just um, home in on the tube network look and let's home in again. Can you see Oxford Circus and Green Park there in Piccadilly Circus? Let's home in again and uh, make it really simple because it doesn't matter how many nodes and edges we have. We've already seen that, you know, let's formulate the theory in the simplest instance and then build. It just requires bigger matrices. Here's what I'm going to call the mini tube. And what I've done, this is actually just a mini segment of the tube network isolated around uh, West One, Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus, Bond Street and Green Park. So I've picked out four stations and uh, there's the central line, the Bakerloo line, the Piccadilly line, the Victoria line and the Jubilee line uh, connecting them, just bits. OK, and I want you to suppose that that's it. That's you're in a mini London now. OK, and here's that question I just asked again. OK, there's two questions here, actually. So I'm this kind of uh, there's a tourist who's making this random journey, OK? So what's the proper question one? What's the probability if she starts, the tourist, starts her journey at Oxford Circus, you can see that up there on the top, of reaching Bond Street before she reaches Green Park? OK, so she gets on the train at Oxford Circus. She takes one of the three lines coming out of Oxford Circus. So there's a third probability, for example, that she'll go to Piccadilly Circus, OK? The question is, and then of course, when she's in Piccadilly Circus, she could either go back to Oxford Circus or to Green Park, actually with equal probability. And then she could keep going round and round if she wants, but eventually she'll reach either Bond Street or Green Park. And the question is, if she starts at Oxford Circus, question one, what's the probability of reaching Bond Street first before Green Park? And question two is the same question, but she starts at Piccadilly Circus instead. OK, so there's two possible starting points here, Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus. And then the same question is, what's the probability starting at either of those stations she reaches Bond Street before Green Park? And by the way, I could have 
uh, picked any two stations on the, on the network, the big tube map I showed you at the beginning, and we could ask the same question. But there'll be many more starting points then. I can also ask the following question, which I'm going to call question three. What is the probability that if she starts her journey at Bond Street, so maybe she wants to go shopping, so she, she really wants to get to Bond Street, okay? If she starts her journey at Bond Street but leaves, what's the probability that she reaches Green Park before returning to Bond Street on this same kind of random journey? Okay, so that's question three. 